In this video, we are going to discuss the categories of microprocessors based on their instruction set. The size of instruction set is an important consideration while categorizing microprocessors because that decides the performance of the microprocessor. Initial microprocessors had very small instruction sets like we just discussed in the previous video. The first microprocessor had just 45 instructions. But as new and complex softwares were introduced, the basic instruction size started increasing. But after it increased to a certain level of say 100 or 200 of instructions, it was realized that this was very counterproductive. Instead of increasing the speed and performance of the microprocessor over a period of time, it actually decreased the performance of the microprocessor. So let's see what are the different categories of the microprocessor based on the instruction set. First and the foremost is the RISC which stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computers. These have very small set of highly optimized instructions. What does highly optimized instructions mean? That the complex instructions are also implemented as those very basic simple instructions. What does this do? The number of instructions is minimized. Instructions are of the same length. Simple addressing modes are used. Why? All because of simple instruction set. And reduced memory references to retrieve the operands by adding the registers. What it means? It means that the when the microprocessor needs to access the memory to retrieve the mathematical operators, the time required is very less. Some of the techniques that is used by the RISC architecture to implement these, implement these designing philosophies so that it has a very small set of instructions is pipelining. What does this mean? That a sequence of instructions is fetched. This means that simultaneously two or more instructions will not be fetched. They will be put in a sequence and then one by one they will be fetched. This puts less pressure on the microprocessor and increases its efficiency. Single cycle execution. Most of the RISC instructions take just one clock cycle to execute. This makes the life of the CPU much easier because if they are taking more than one cycle then, then it might get interrupted by other jobs. Examples of RISC processors are Intel P6, Pentium 4, AMD K6 and K7. Let's now look at the other type of microprocessor architecture that is the CISC, Complex Instruction Set Computers. Here there is a wide range of instruction set. So why do we need them? We need them because there are some computers who have to do a large variety of tasks. When they have to do large variety of tasks, then they need a large variety of instructions also. Very different instructions that cannot be implemented using the simpler instructions. So what is the characteristic of CISA architecture? Larger set of instructions. Instructions are of variable length. If you remember the RISE has same length instructions. Complex addressing modes again. Instructions take more than one clock cycle which means that the CPU has to spend more time on the same job. Work well with simpler compilers. They work very well with simpler compilers and not the complex ones. Examples of CISC processors Intel 386, 486, Pentium, Pentium 2, 3, Motorola 68000 etc. However, you can see that RISC is very different to CISC. They both have their own advantages and disadvantages. So, what the scientists tried to do? They tried to make a cross between the two. And what they came up with? Explicitly parallel instruction computing. What essentially it means? Parallel instructions rather than fixed width instructions. So, it was not that 4-bit instructions or 8-bit or 16-bit instructions all only can be carried out. Some instruction can be 4-bit, some can be 64-bit, some can be 32-bit. 
mechanism to communicate compiler's execution plan to hardware. When the compiler's execution plan is given to the hardware or the processor, then the hardware can optimize its other functions accordingly, which makes the EPIC more optimized, more performance friendly. Programs must have sequential semantics. The programs must be written in a sequential way. It's not that this is one segment which will be executed after another segment, which is maybe after 10 lines of code and then 30 lines of code. Later, we have another program segment which will be implemented in the third phase. Some EPIC processors are Intel IA64, Itanium, etc. So, in this video, we have seen the different categories of microprocessor based on their length and complexity of the instruction set. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the primary memory.